Thank you. It's now my absolute pleasure to introduce the class orator for the Curry College class of 2022, Alex Bouchard. Good morning. morning. Faculty, parents, loved ones, and of course, the graduating class of 2022. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex Bouchard, and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> Shout out Winnipeg. I'm a 25-year-old senior member of your graduating class. Now. I know when I hear that sentence out loud, if I were to have written it in a letter to my younger self, there may have been some cause for concern, for fear of ending up on the wrong side of a Billy Madison comparison. However, as I stand here before you and look back on the journey that it has been, I can honestly say I wouldn't change anything for the world. It's funny how often in life, when you reach the end of the road, the initial instinct is to look back at where you came from. And I would be remiss if I didn't at least touch on that road that we've all traveled here together over the last four years. A road filled with peaks and valleys, twists and turns, and not to mention a global pandemic. As I stand here now, I can't help but wonder if I set the isolation record here at Curry. Following two bouts with COVID and seven isolation periods, I'm kind of starting to feel like I'm the pandemic Tom Brady. <laughs> Seriously though, when I look out across the crowd today, one theme remains resoundingly clear. Resilience. In a crazy sort of twisted way, the last four years, pandemic and all, serve as a microcosm for what life is truly all about. There is no blueprint for completing your degree. There is no blueprint for navigating a pandemic. But under the same breath, there is no blueprint to life in general. There's no one size fits all. So maybe the most important lesson that Curry has taught us over the last four years isn't something that can be found in any textbook. It's not something that you can look up on Google or you'll ever find in a lesson plan. Maybe what Curry has taught us is to look fear and uncertainty straight in the eyes and take it head on because we know no matter how tough the waters are ahead, we can find our way. We're all entering into a scary point in our lives. However, under the same breath, it's also an incredibly exciting one. Some of us will jump headfirst into the working world and join in the workforce in our respective fields, whereas some of us will continue our academic pursuits and head off to grad school. We will all be leaving the cozy confines of 1071 Blue Hill Avenue to explore the great big world outside. It may be unnerving to not know where our next steps may lead us, there might be challenges ahead of us that seem insurmountable. However, I know as I look out at all of you that if we approach whatever life throws at us with the passion and work ethic that Curry has instilled in us, then we truly have nothing to fear. I want to leave you with this. If someone told you that for every day for the rest of your life, when you woke up in the morning, you'd receive $86,400, and at the end of the day, when the clock struck midnight, your money spent would be reset. Would you spend it? Each day, we wake up with 86,400 seconds of life, with no chance to get them back and no option of a refund. So if I have any piece of advice to leave you with, spend them. Spend them in ways that make you feel whole in the pursuit of your dreams. And just as Samuel Silas Curry said, Dare to dream and not to be an idle dreamer. Thank you all for the last four years and cheers to the class of 2022.